Hey guys, today we are going to be making these cute little baby lizards. Um, today we are going to be making this gray one, except we're not going to be using gray rubber bands. Um, and for the eyes, if you don't have um, these little black beads, um, then I'll show you how to do it with rubber bands later in the video, with black rubber bands. Um, um, so, when making this lizard, it will require 103, um, rubber bands. If you're going to use black rubber bands for the eyes, it is 105. Um, so get your surprise and get ready. Um, you will need one loom. I recommend using um, Rainbow Loom, um, Crazy Loom, Wonder Loom, and Fun Loom will work, but Rainbow Loom works best. And then you will need a Rainbow Loom hook or crochet a hook or any hook that came with your loom. And then you will need your rubber bands. Today I'm going to be using dark, um, dark green. And then um, you're going to need these um, beads for the eyes. And again, I will teach you how to do it with rubber bands if you don't have beads. Um, so let's get started. You're going to start in the offset position with your red arrow pointing away from you. And we will be double banding, which means um, putting two bands on as, it, as if it were one. So we're going to start with the tail. So here we go. You're going to take two green rubber bands, start from the first peg on the middle row, and go from the first to second. And then second to third on your middle row. Third to fourth. And fourth to fifth. And then you're going to go from your fifth peg to your fifth peg on your left side. And then from your middle fifth peg to your right fifth peg. And then we are going to be placing the rubber bands up four times. I mean three times, I mean. Um, so one, two, three. And one, two, and three. And then we are going to do our middle row. One, and two, three, and we're going to be doing four sets of rubber bands on this row. So three, and um, four. Then we are going to close this off by taking two from the left to the center, and then two from the right to the center. And then we are going to take two rubber bands, um, from here to here. And then we're going to start on our baby lizard's head. Start from your right, from your left side, I mean, and go up. And then from your right side, and up again. And 
then we are going to do our middle row. So start from your neck and go up to the middle of your baby lizard's head. And then go up one more time. Then close this off on the left. And then on the right. And now we're going to um, take one rubber band and make triangles all along your baby lizard's body. To his shoulders. Then we are going to start on his head. Go up. Up again. And now we are going to make our baby lizard's arms and legs. So you're going to take your rainbow loom hook or your crochet hook and wrap one rubber band around um, three times so you should have four rings and take two of your green rubber bands put it on, put those bands on the end of your hook and slide those four rings on And then you're going to take two more and slide it on. And then a third chain, three, and then a fourth chain. And then we're, we're going to be done. Okay. And then you're going to put that on the left. And this peg. Kind of stretch it out. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right arm left leg and the left and the left I mean and the right leg you can pause the video here until you are completely done with all four legs We'll step on that one. So wrap it around three times to create four loops. Slide it on. Do the same thing. Okay, get this on. Okay, hang on. Okay. So three chains, then one more, four. And then put that on your right side. Okay. 
Now we're going to start on our baby lizard's legs. So take one band, wrap it around three times, so you should have four rings. And take two bands, slide it on. Two bands, these are stuck together, and then slide it on. Two bands and slide it on. Then one more chain, two bands, slide it on. Okay. Now we're going to put this right here for our left leg of the baby lizard. Then you're going to do the same thing for the right leg. Wrap one single band around three times. So four rings. And then take two of your green rubber bands and slide it on. Messed up. One, two, three, four rings, two bands, slide it on. And then two bands, slide it on. Two bands. Slide it on, and one last time, take two bands and slide it on. And then there you have all four of your baby lizard's legs. Now we're going to start with the eyes. First, I'm going to show you how to do it with rubber bands. So you're going to take a black rubber band, twist it around three times, so you should have four rings. Take one single rubber band, and slide those four rings of the black rubber band on to your green rubber band. And then do the same thing, um, but you're going to set this down for a second. Take another black rubber band, twist it around three times, so you should have four um, rings. And then take that same rubber band with one eye on it and put it at the end of your rainbow loom or crochet hook and slide that black or those black bands on. But I'm not going to do it that way. If you don't have those black beads, then do it like this. If you um if you do, then use the beads. So, now I'm going to show you how to do it with beads. You're not going to use your hook. You're just going to take one band and kind of fold it like this so it's skinny. And slide one of your eye colored bands on. So you should have two little loops on each side, like that. Then you're going to set that on your fingers for a second. And then do the same thing with the other eye on that same rubber band. Okay. 
and slide it on. And now you're going to set this on your lizard on these two, um, almost to the top of your BB lizard, on these two pegs, put it on. You're going to separate your eyes, and you should have two layers, right here and right here. Take the top layer and put it on the very top pin. And then we're going to take um, one rubber band um, and wrap it around twice on this very top pin. So single, double, and then we're ready to start the hooking process. So you're going to turn your loom all the way around. Your baby lizard should be upside down. And so you're going to stick your... Um, Hook down into the into the double band and into that eye band and take these two rubber bands and okay, and hook it over. Sorry. And this way. Then you're going to take your other rubber band. Put your hook down in there. Find it. And pull it. Oh, okay. Pull it up. And on. And then you're going to do the same thing over the other eye. Put your hook down in. Grab it. Okay. Having a little trouble with this. So get down in. Grab it. Pull it up and over onto that pin. And then you're going to hook your middle band up. So go down into that double band and pull it up and over. So now you should have three teardrop um, bands. And then you're going to go onto your left side, stick it down in. Find those two bottom rubber bands and pull them back upon themselves. Do the same thing on the other side. Reach down into all of those rubber bands. Pull it up and around. I think I have I still have one more rubber band to do. Pull it up and around. Then you're going to do your middle band up and on. Hang on. Okay. Up and over. And then diagonally on your left, reach in all of those bands, pull out the bottom two, pull it onto the center pin. Do the same thing on the right side, onto the center pin. Now we're ready to hook the baby lizard's neck. Reach down in all of these bands, pull it up and over upon itself. Now we're going to hook the baby lizard's shoulders. So you're going to reach into his neck. Um, and this triangular band and pull it on to your baby lizard's arm 
and then do the same thing on the other side. pull it back onto its arm and then you're going to hook this downwards all the way to his tail Let's reach in in the middle row and in And then you're going to start from his shoulder, reach down in all of those bands, pull out the bottom one, and hook it back over onto itself. Do the same thing on the right side. Then you're going to hook it all the way down to the baby lizard's legs. Do the same thing on the right side. Like this and on. And then you're going to reach in to your left side and you're going to hook diagonally back onto the middle. Grab all these rubber bands, through all of these rubber bands, and grab the bottom two and pull it back on. Do the same thing on the right side. And all of those rubber bands. And the bottom two, and pull them back and over itself. And now we're going to start. Um, hooking our baby lizard's tail. So we're going to reach in all of these rubber bands and find the bottom two. Pull them up and on. I only have one so far. They do the same thing to the other band. Hook it up and on. And then we are going to do this for the rest of the tail. Just single looping his tail. And now we are ready to take our baby lizard off the loom and we will be adding on to his tail. So um, we're going to temporarily do a slip knot. So stick your hook down into those bottom two. Put one single rubber band on, put it onto your hook, and make a slip knot. And now we are ready to take it off the loom. You can take it off with your hook if you would like.
And now that your baby lizard is off of the loom, I'm going to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And we are going to add on to his tail. So you're going to take out the slip knot. And again, start with your arrow pointing away from you. You can just set your lizard down for now. We're going to double band four chains on. So one, two, three, and four. You can make the tail as long as you want. So you're going to put your lizard's, um, the end of your lizard's tail on here, turn your loom around, and hook these bands. And now we're going to make a slip knot at the end of his tail. Stick your hook down in the end and make a slip knot. And now I will show you how to hide the slip knot in the end of your tail. So now that you're done with your um, little baby lizard, um, you're going. I'm going to show you how to hide um, this slip knot at the end of his tail. So you're going to. Um, we're not going to use your hook. We're going to open up the loop on the end of his tail and just wrap the slip knot around in a few times. Do that a few times until it's completely hidden. And then there is your little baby lizard. And I'm going to show you how to add a tongue onto it. If you don't want a tongue, then you can just um, fast forward to the end of the video and I will give you some important information. So if you um, stick your hook in this band on the, t on the top of your lizard, take a red band and do a slip knot. Then you can have a little tongue for your baby lizard. And there you have it. Your little baby lizard. Um, this is my own original design. And I hope you enjoy your little baby lizard. Bye!